Hi, this is Kate from Minute Earth. Paleontologists have long questioned why Tyrannosaurus rex, a giant killing machine with nine inch long daggers for teeth, had such puny arms. Were short arms particularly useful when grappling with prey or when sexy Rexy was in mating mode? Did they provide just the right leverage when getting up after a nap? Maybe, like some evolutionary traits, from the gecko's camouflage to the human's opposable thumb to the orchid's deceiving shape. Perhaps those little limbs gave T-Rex some real advantage. But it's also quite possible that they didn't. For one thing, T-Rex might have ended up with small arms simply because big, or even normal-sized arms, were a disadvantage. Perhaps once T-Rex's ancestors got big enough, they could hunt and eat with their giant jaws alone, and their arms weren't worth the energy they took to haul around. But evolution can't just swap out not-so-useful traits for completely new ones. Instead, over generations, T-Rex's arms may have simply gotten smaller and smaller until there was no longer a significant cost to keeping them. Then they just stuck around, a lot like how we humans ended up with our tiny tailbones. Another possibility is that evolution gave T-Rex tiny arms simply by chance, the same way it gave Ireland lots and lots of redheads. In a relatively small, isolated population, a trait that doesn't hurt or help an individual's chances of surviving and reproducing can, just by the look of the draw, become more and more prevalent from one generation to the next. It's possible that the size of T-Rex's arms didn't matter much either, and all the dinos just happened to end up with short arms. On the other hand, weirdly small arms have also evolved in other large T-Rex relatives, suggesting that the trait might not be totally random. Right now, scientists are studying the microscopic wear and tear on the arm bones of the most famous T-Rex of all to determine how she used them. This work might help us figure out if T-Rex's arms were useful like our thumbs, useless like our tailbones, or random like our redheadedness. Right now, the answer is still out of reach. This video was sponsored by the University of Minnesota, where students, faculty, and staff across all fields of study are working to solve the grand challenges facing society. University of Minnesota professors Suzanne McGaw and Emma Goldberg, who advised us on the science behind this video, investigate how several different mechanisms of evolution, from adaptation to negative selection to genetic drift, affect traits, like T-Rex's tiny arms, in a variety of species. Professor Goldberg uses math to explore how a plant's reproductive traits affect its chances of becoming new species or going extinct. And Professor Maga repels into Mexican caves to better understand how blindness in cave fishes evolves independently in different populations. Thanks, University of Minnesota.